the Son of God walked in the power of the Spirit. Romans chapter 1 and verse 4, and declared to be the Son of God with the power according to the Spirit of holiness by the resurrection from the dead. As we look at the life of the Son of God, the life of Jesus Christ, as He walked on the earth, as the only begotten of the Father, and just looking at a few aspects of His life, we see an important truth the New Testament brings out, teaching us that the Son of God, Jesus Christ, He walked in the power or in the empowering of the Holy Spirit or the Spirit of holiness. You know, this is very significant to think about that the eternal word who became the incarnate man, right, the incarnate man, the son of God, the only begotten of the father, he laid aside uh, the powers of deity, the powers of omniscience, omnipresence and omnipotence. In finiteness confined himself to what is finite in the human form. And as he walked the earth as a son of God, the Bible points out that he walked in the power of the Holy Spirit. So that everything he did, his ministry, his works, they flowed out from the power of the Spirit working through his life. The Bible says in Acts 10 and verse 38, that God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power. So that he went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed of the devil for God was with him. So Jesus himself, the Son of God, depended and yielded to the power and the anointing of the Holy Spirit on his life to fulfill his ministry, to carry out his assignment, to do the works that the Father had assigned for him to do. Why is that significant for us? For you and I, as sons and daughters of God, as we walk in the steps of the Son of God, we ourselves must learn to be yielded and dependent and draw upon the power, the anointing of the Holy Spirit to do the works of God. We cannot do them in our own strength, in our own ability, but we say, Holy Spirit, I need you. Holy Spirit, I want your anointing to flow through my life. I'm anointed by the Spirit and I'm depending on the power of the Spirit to do the works that the Father has called me to do. That's how you and I walk as sons and daughters of God. We are declared to be sons and daughters of God by the power of the Spirit of holiness, by the power of the Holy Spirit upon our lives. Let's learn to depend on the anointing of the Spirit to do the works we've been called to do. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for the example set by the Son of God that we can follow His steps, that we too walk under the anointing, the power of the Holy Spirit flowing in and through our lives so that that in reveals that we are God's sons and daughters. Let your power be visible through our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.